We did the mystery box from Main Trading Company, and now we got to do one from Gigaparts. I missed out on the one for the ARRL. They had one over the weekend of Black Friday, and I didn't realize it expired on that Sunday, but it did, so. <laughs> so now we got to open the one from Gigaparts. This one's considerably smaller than the one from Main Trading Company, and it's considerably lighter, too. It's also $5 cheaper. This one was 20 bucks. The one from Main Trading Company was 25 bucks. So does that mean anything? I don't know. I mean, you could fold up a $100 bill and put it in a box that's one-tenth of this size, so who cares? <laughs> I'm sure we're not going to find that there. Let's see what we are going to get. Stay tuned till the end, because I've got a question that I want to ask you guys about a new product I'm fixing to spin up on my website, and I'm very curious about your thoughts. Let's go. Cut this open here. Have not opened this yet, obviously. I didn't open it and tape it back up, but wanted to see what was going on with it. All right, look at that. Thank you. 50% off of any extended warranty, 10%, $10 off of any $200 purchase. Okay, read this first. Oh, yeah, This. so this is probably something they include with all their shipments. Okay, good. All right, what else is in here? It's just uh, nothing else there. All right, $20 mystery package right there. All right, pull that out. Boom. Aluminum tactical pen. Well, that's pretty cool. It's got a, it's a tactical pen. It's got a glass breaker right there. It's nice and solid. Okay. There you go. So it writes. Okay, cool. I've got one of these, but it's in a little bit different style. Uh, let's see. Okay, put that back together. Ha! <laughs> batteries. But, oh, those are rechargeable batteries. USB-C recharge? No. Micro USB rechargeable batteries. I got AA batteries on the main trading box, but they were not. They were just regular old AA batteries. They were not rechargeable. So this one right here. Uh, specification capacity is 1,300 milliwatts. Milliwatt hours. Nickel zinc is uh, their, the type of material that they are. Set of alkaline or lithium or something like that. Nickel zinc. I'm not familiar with those, but okay. So there we go. Four AA batteries. Put that there, that there. Okay. This is, what is that? A waterproof bag. Oh, okay. I'm always into waterproof bags. I've got a bunch of waterproof bags. So, right there. Waterproof bag. That. Got a really neat opening thing there. How does that work? Oh, there we go. It's got these, this this little thing snaps together here, like that. And then you push it closed right here, open, close, and it seals the top of the bag. So that's kind of neat. I've got a lot of waterproof bags. I keep waterproof bags in all of my uh, go packs, my everyday carry pack. Um, but okay, I will pro I will probably use that. All right, so there's that. Um, these two are left. Coin knife multi tool. Okay. There we go. Okay. Little keychain type thing here. It's got this knife that pops out. It's semi sharp. That right there. Okay, a little screwdriver on the end of it there. Small flathead screwdriver right there. Huh, I don't know what that... Uh, it looks like this part might pop out too, but I... Maybe not. Okay, strange. Okay, and then there's bits right here. The bit comes out. Let's close that before I cut my finger off. The bit comes out here and goes into right here as a little screwdriver tool. Okay. It's kind of neat, I guess. Keep that on your keychain. It's got a little carabiner type clip on it right there. I don't think I'd keep that on my keychain, but I tell you what, I might put that in my truck and have it handy like when I'm out and about. Okay, good deal. That's there. The last thing is here. This video is sponsored by Mezzi and Palomi Coax. Mezzi and Palomi, or M&P Coax out of Italy, makes some of the best 
coax and best feed line available to the amateur radio community today. From their smallest size around 5 millimeters to their largest size around 13 millimeters and beyond, they offer something for everyone in every activity of amateur radio. Direct berry coax for your home shack and high temperature coax for those types of environments is also available from their catalog. Their Evo or Evolution PL259 connectors are some of the best I have ever seen in this industry. If you want some of the greatest coax and feed line made for the amateur radio community today, check out the link in the description below to save a 5% discount. And thank you, Mezzi and Plomy, for supporting this channel. Oh, those are that. I know what that is. That's that's like a door opener. These are. I, I saw these a while back. It's like a. I don't know. It's like you can open a door with it. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's called. It says Go K O zero one. I'm not sure what that is. Somebody in the comments will know what that is. I I think I know what this is. I'm gonna have to go look it up. But I think it's some sort of like door opener it's almost it almost looks like brass knuckles really <laughs> that might be kind of fun all right there we are that's the giga parts box smaller lighter weight a little bit less expensive than the main trading company box these i'm going to get some use out of that tactical pin i will use that that bag i will use as well so that's cool i'm uh, i'm pretty happy with that right there so thinking of mystery boxes here's the thing I'm going to do a mystery box. I'm going to do a mystery box. I'm going to put it on my website. And they're going to be 20... I think I'm going to do $25 mystery boxes. And I think I'm going to make 100 of them. Now, here's my plan. Okay, I'm going to do something special that I haven't seen anyone else do yet in the ham radio world. I'm going to... Out of all of those mystery boxes, some of it's going to be stuff that... Um, I've done grab bags before on my website. I used to have like a, I think it was a $10 grab bag and it was full of like some kind of programming cable and external microphones, TYT accessories for MD380 and MDUV380 radios, that kind of thing. Ran out of that stuff a long time ago, but these mystery boxes have become real popular. So here's, here's what I'm thinking and I want you guys to comment below and let me know what you think about this idea. I want to do 100 mystery boxes and in one of those, maybe two, maybe two of them, I'm going to put like a brand new HT, something like a... FT65 or a or maybe a, a F, maybe an FT70 something like that not not a three or four hundred dollar HT but a you know hundred ish dollar HT I might even put a better safe radio HT in one because we're going to be doing monthly giveaways of better safe radio for the UV9 Papa X ray uh, dual band HT so Mark from Better Safe Radio has offered that to me we started that around November and we're going to be giving away one per month for the next 11 months. So 12 total, including November, November of 2022, I should say. So I might put that one in one of the mystery boxes and someone will win that that way. I'm, I'm going to put two-ish larger, much more than $25 items in the mystery box and two of the mystery boxes, probably something like that. The rest of them will get stuff that I've got a bunch of TYT stuff. I've got a bunch of brand new antennas. I have uh, new chargers. I've got a bunch of lithium iron phosphate batteries that I've reviewed before on the channel. And I, once I do the reviews of them, those little six and eight amp hour ones like that Miati right there, I don't need those anymore. Okay, so I've got like six or 10 or 12 of those stacked up. So I've got some stuff like that. I've got, uh, but everything that I'll put in there will be brand new. I've got a lot of challenge coins that I that I still sell on the website. I've got the new sticker swag pack. I'm going to put that in a bunch of them. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm going to spin that up sometime in December, and we're going to try to do a mystery, a Ham Radio 2.0 mystery box. So let me know in the comments below what you think about that. Also, let me know about the Gigaparts box. Who else got one? Did you get anything cool in it? Put a comment below. Thanks for watching.